Hello, everybody. Um, basically, what I'm going to be doing today is um, a friend of mine, Martin, posted on his Facebook wall a video, um, which I'm going to actually show the video, um, of a ghost in some sort of car crash scene. Um, doing the work I do, um, editing for 20th Century Fox, I can spot special effects when I see them. So my friend Martin was a bit dubious about whether it was real, whether it wasn't real, so I'm going to prove today how you actually do this. But first of all, I'm going to show you the video, um, which really to me was pathetic due to the fact that I knew how it was done. And here it comes, a ghostly figure. A couple of seconds of just a ghostly figure, which it's really, honestly, in my opinion, pathetic because of the fact I know exactly how it's done, obviously. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna jump, I'm actually gonna give you an example of how this is done. Um, try and actually filming with my green screen and everything, but unfortunately, I don't have studio lights anymore, so until I replace them, I can't really do any decent green screening. So what I'm going to do, I've got two examples. Um, <coughs> we got is um, just a JPEG image. I'm not going to work with the video for the background, as I said, I'm not even going to render this. It's just an example to show you how this is done. Um, so I thought of you know an actual scene and everything, and I thought to myself, well, yeah, what, what, what can I do on this? Um, so what we're going to do is, we're going to take this, and I'm laughing because of the fact that it's kind of over the top of this actual video, but you know, don't judge me. Um, let's open the other screen there. We're basically going to take this lovely lady here. Uh, sorry, she doesn't get completely naked, and the only reason I have it is because it's the only video I can find on uh, YouTube that kind of uh, was already green screen for me with all this, the uh, proper lighting and everything. Uh, so it's easier to actually do. I just want to change the composition settings here. Can ignore the uh, green screen because I am going to actually sort that in a second. I just want to see as far as that goes. So it's 109. Okay. So you actually want to change the composition settings to 109. Zero, and there we go. That should be the entire video. Okay. So all we're going to do here is literally move it. We're going to copy it, and we are going to paste it right there. So hence it lasts throughout the entire video. Okay. And apparently, let's move up a bit. Turn it off for a second so that we know it lasts through the entire video. Start to finish. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> All we do with the screen screening. Um, you see, you know, we've got this big green screen at the back of it, lovely fucking dark. Uh, all we're going to do is we're going to go up to effect, we're going to go to uh, um, keying, and then we're going to go to key light 1.2. Press that one button, boom, she's now kind of masked, but you've got to actually get rid of the red around her because uh, it's just. What I do best of all is actually just. Resize it slightly, move her up. You can't have her interacting with the bed at all, uh, or going past the bed, so hence she'll walk on. As you can see from that, lovely freaking doll. She'll do her thing, whatever. Um, we've still got to get rid of uh, some red around her. Uh, that's easily done. Let's screen that. And there we go. All sorted. Okay. 
So now that we've got the uh, green screen woman onto the JPEG and everything, uh, we want to obviously make her ghostly, which can be done in about two seconds flat by going down to uh, transform. And all we're going to do for this ghostly effect is literally turn down the opacity. That is what makes the ghostly effect. So turn her down to the light, see how that goes. And she's a little ghosty. Apparently, um, died in her, her bedroom or something and still strips in her bedroom um, as a ghost, obviously. Um, if that doesn't seem. I'm going to actually turn her down slightly. I'm going to turn her down a lot so that she's more ghostly. And let's play it. I'm not, as I said, I'm not going to render it. It takes ages to do uh, with this sort of video, so it's like, yeah. Here she comes. Is it playing all the way through? And as I said, there's simply a JPEG at the back of the uh, video and the opacity turned down to make the woman all ghostly. So hopefully that will prove how it's done and how a lot of people actually uh, believe videos to be real that are actually done in the same way as how I just showed you. Hope you like the video and hope that it proves it to Martin and anybody else that that video itself is a, an actual fake. Thank you, good night. Much love.